Hey guys, it's Bertie. Uh, <laughs> I just changed clothes in the car. Yeah. At the gym, I should have waited and went inside the gym and changed. But I didn't want to. And tonight uh, is Monday the 27th, and I'm at Champion. Um, I'm at Champion. I didn't. This is the third week. This is the start of the third week of our of my challenges. So, um, y'all didn't get. I feel like I bit my lip, but y'all didn't get a message. Y'all didn't. I didn't film yesterday, which was Sunday, because I missed one boot camp. I just didn't feel good. I didn't want to go, so I didn't do the boot camp, and, uh, so, uh, so today is my first day exercising for week three, and I'm getting ready to go into champion. I'm going to try to walk, uh, I'll try to walk six miles, because Willie Joe is going to pay for me to do, um, sweetheart run on February the 15th, so, I'm like, woohoo, so I need to start, I want to do a double, which is a 5K and a 10K, a uh, 5K is, um, a 5K is, uh, a 5K is 3.23 miles, and a 6K, I mean a 10K is 6 point, um, 6 point, uh, 4, 6 miles, so that means I need to walk, I need to be able at least to walk, um, nine miles, so I need to at least walk ten miles, so I'm going to do six, I'm going to try to do six today, and then, uh, work on doing that, so I can make sure I can do it, now, I've done a 15k, y'all remember when I did the hot chocolate run, but it was difficult, so I need to practice more, but tonight, um, I'm here, I was going to take a break, but Amy, one of my friends, Sorry, my nose is itching. Amy, one of my friends, is wanting to start. And her husband told her that since she's a little insecure about um, going to the gym, that she should go with me instead of going during the day when it's full. So she said, Bertie, how many people go? And I said, not very many. But today I'm a liar because I was just sitting out here and this lady got out of the car, and she brought a whole bunch of kids. We're not supposed to, kids aren't supposed to, like, be unattended. One adult, and she had, like, six kids. Yeah. So, hopefully, they're going to just be in there for a second. And that way, Amy won't feel so self-conscious. But Amy's talked, like, four people into going with her. So, uh, they're all supposed to start in February. So, pretty soon, we might have a whole group full of people here. Yeah. Amy had gastric bypass surgery a couple of years ago, and so she's scared about gaining her weight back, and so, you know, she doesn't want to gain all her weight back, so, uh, so yay, she's going to exercise with me, maybe she'll give me motivation, because she says that since I'm trying to lose 60 pounds in three months, that she's going to try to lose 60 pounds in three months. I think I'll change my shirt, too, so I might take this shirt off and put my other one on. I don't know. I'll probably just wear this one. I'll be more comfortable. And I can save the shirt for tomorrow. The other one I was going to wear. So, we'll see. Did you hear that? <laughs> and yes, I'm drinking chocolate milk. I was craving it today. And I thought, I haven't eaten... Um, since before eight and I'm getting ready to do six miles I thought I need something in my system and I chose chocolate milk yeah it's got calories but it's got 16 grams of protein um, per serving I think it is isn't it yeah oh no it's eight grams and it's got two servings. So 16. 
but it's 400 calories. But I'm going to work those calories off with one with the with my miles. I'll burn those calories plus some if you know what I mean. Well, I guess we need to go in there. I got my water. And my brother also brought me another water just in case I want it. So, I'm going to go exercise. I would take y'all with me in there and let y'all see what uh, see it again and see how many people's there. But if I start filming, it might make Amy a little uncomfortable. And names have not been changed to protect the innocent. No joking. <laughs> um, but uh, Amy might not feel comfortable with me showing her. Misty, she's on here on YouTube. So she went and care. And you know Crystal and Lisa don't mind. But Amy's kind of like my cousin Jamie. They don't really like to just be like daunted over. So if I was to film her, she'd be like, Bertie, why are you filming me? You know? <laughs> So, so she's just, so I'm not going to, now if she said, Bertie, where's your camera at? Why aren't you vlogging? Vlogging. Then I would be like, oh, I can next time. Yay. And then I will show her. But, oh, and she watches me. So, uh, so after this week, if she says, Bertie, you can film us, then I will. But yeah, she's been my friend for years, but I'll talk to you later guys. And I love y'all. Bye. Hey guys, it's me, and um, Autumn showed up, Lynette showed up, and Amy showed up, and um, and uh, we worked out, and um, it is two, it is two eighteen, and I got here at ten till twelve. Um, I didn't get my six miles in that I was wanting to get, but we did have so much fun. And, uh, we did have so much fun, and Amy was like, Bertie, I don't mind if you take your camera in there, but just don't show my butt. I said, oh, but I want to show it, just joking. But, we had so much fun. We worked out, and, um, um, they were kind of disappointed with themselves, but they, I told them that I'm just glad they were there. If they just did 10 minutes, that's 10 minutes that they would not have done if they hadn't a cane. So I'm very, very proud of them. And um, it was so much fun. So tomorrow they're gonna do it again, and then they'll have two days off, and then we'll start back up on Friday. I'm so proud of them. Thank you guys for coming and joining me. And um, and thank you guys for YouTube, for being here with me to give me encouragement. And enjoy y'all. I love y'all. Bye guys. Guys, I forgot to tell y'all. We did, um, I did the treadmill. And then we did some weights, and uh, just so that I could show them. So we did just a uh, minimal, just to get them a feel of it. And uh, but we uh, all took turns, and we did it. And I'm so proud of them. But like I was gonna say, I did the treadmill, and then uh, Amy did her deal at the um, thigh machine, and she did uh, the the thigh deal. I don't remember what it's called. And then uh, she did the bike and the elliptical and the treadmill. So she did a little bit of everything. And she was like, man, I'm so out of shape. And I was like, girl, you did um, you did the bike at a 7, level 7. You did the treadmill at an incline. And you did the ab machine. You did the thigh machine. I told her, I'm just so proud of you. Um, I don't care what you say about yourself. I said, I'm proud of you because... You did so much, and you should you should just know that this was your first day back, and it's just awesome. So, Amy, I'm proud of you, and Lynette, I'm proud of you. Now, Autumn, she's used to working out. She was just there to encourage all of us. <laughs> I'm still proud of you too, Autumn. So, yeah, so it was awesome. Thank you guys again. Bye. Hey guys, I'm at Strictly. Oh man, a sweatshirt. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No. And I got here late. Um, I ordered pizza. And then they did the wrong one. And I went to the other one. Had to rush the other one. And so I just got a late start. Today was crochet. 
uh, class and uh, we made some of those red hats and uh, I'll show them to y'all some of the time. But I am at uh, Strictly Fitness. I'm getting my visit in today. And so I'll be here until it closes. And then I'll go uh, to Champion. But I'll talk to you before then. I'll probably show you this stuff out. But I was just going to show you the wall so y'all can kind of see the challenge stuff that we see every time that we walk in here. Alright, talk to you later, guys. Hey guys, this is Birdie. Here are the hats that Miss M made for our American, sorry, had stuff go down my shirt, for our American Heart Association. So, we have this little one. I'm going to take them Thursday to the American Red Heart, I mean, the American Heart Association, because February is red, uh, red hat uh, drive. Where every baby that's in, that's born in the month of February gets a red hat that represents um, heart, women's heart awareness. So, so she made those. She made 17, I think. And she's going to make three more so that she can have an even 20. Aren't those cute? These are my friend Emma made. Out of our crochet class. See? We're hoping they take this one. It's really thick. Um, but she hopes they take it. Because they want them to be the majority red. But this one she made. Red and white. I think she did a very good job. This is our third year doing them. Those just pretty. These are Miss Emma's. And I got five done right now. But I'm going to try to get 20 made like Miss Emma. Uh, so I have the rest of tonight after I get done exercising. So the rest of tonight and then tomorrow uh, to, do, to do them. And so hopefully I get them done. I can turn them in. I, I'll probably take them up there around in the afternoon. I'll probably do it. And everything. So I'll probably go exercise in the morning. And then uh, go home. Do these. And then go exercise Thursday morning. And then go meet Emma. And then take these to the deal. So, fingers crossed. I might just have to not sleep the rest of the time. And get these done. But, I was going to show y'all. Um, mine are just basic. So, it shouldn't be that hard uh, to get mine done. they're just basic ones like that but I also have this little bitty one I have to finish this little bitty one 
just so that I can it's a preemie hat so I can have one but uh, I'm gonna do that one and then I'll uh, work on the other ones and that one I'm not counting because I don't know if they'll be able to be used because it's a little preemie but I'll talk to you later guys I'll talk to you later. Ooh, I like my skin in this light. <laughs> but bye, guys. Hey, guys. I am heading to Champion. But you already knew that because I was just on here a moment ago. And I thought that I would tell y'all that I am on my way to Champion. And I was just at Strictly. I did. I closed the joint down. <laughs> and then, uh, and then now I'm heading to Champion. And then Champion, right now it's, right now it's 10 o'clock. Well, yeah, 10 o'clock. Because Strictly closes at 10 right now during the, uh, challenge. So, I, so it's 10 now, so I'm going to do the treadmill and uh, do some of my exercises. And then uh, I'm going to be, uh, Lynette, Amy, and Autumn are going to be meeting up with me at 12. Because that's what time they get off work. So they're meeting me at 12. So they'll probably get there about 12.30. So 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Um then I'll be able to, uh, then I'll be able to uh, work out with them, so I'll get what I need to do, and then I will help them do what they need to do, and I'll be able to work out with them and have fun, and not have to concentrate on what I'm doing, kind of. So, that's what I plan on doing. I am so glad that they are planning on coming back tonight. I was afraid that they were going to change their mind and take a break um, since they worked so hard last night but they they did an excellent job last night so I am so proud that they're willing to come back tonight and do this with me again oh, wouldn't it be awesome if we all succeeded and hit our goal for uh, for this uh, for this year you know yes Amy said last night that uh, that in a year she wants to be able to do a cartwheel. I told her that even when I was younger, I couldn't do a cartwheel. So that can't be one of my goals because I'm not my wrists aren't strong enough to hold anything. Um, but yes, so I was really proud of them. So that's one of their goals is to do a cartwheel. Yes, but. It's raining right now. It says that we might be getting some bad weather on the news just now whenever I was at the gym. But I'm not for sure if that was talking about us or different parts of Oklahoma. You know, the Pantanal or uh, South, you know. So, I'm not for sure. But we will find out when it freezes tonight. My brother would probably wonder where I am, but uh, um, I decided that I would uh, show you all this stuff, show you all uh, the hats that Miss Emma made. I am so proud of Miss Emma. Her birthday is in February, so um, we'll probably be doing something for her birthday and in the crochet deal. She wants me to, uh, she wants to do tea towels, and I told her that I found a pattern on YouTube. And that I will uh, show her, I will uh, send her the link so that she can watch it. And then I will write down what it says to do so that, um, so that she can make one and that I can do one and then I can show her how. And then we can make some. Because I found like three or four tutorials on it. Um, they're all similar, but all, but they're similar. So I... I'm going to try to see if I can combine them 
and see which one will be easiest for us to make because uh, we like to raise money for uh, children's backpacks in our community and um, and so we like to help with that and we like to make stuff so that we can sell to people um, at work and stuff what we create and um, everything so she's like Bertie I have so much yarn and she says I think I want to do those tea towels but I can't seem to find a pattern and then I told her that one of my friends sent me a link and it was kind of it was kind of a, a a good tutorial and I watched it and I think that I can teach it to Miss Emma and then Miss Emma can do it and we might have a whole bunch of tea towels to sell you never know <laughs> yeah and as long as we make money for the kids that's awesome you know but I'm almost to the gym and I'm going to go ahead and play with legs today since I did arms yesterday even though today is usually arms because it's Tuesday but I messed up because I didn't go to the gym on Sunday and then yesterday um, they uh, yesterday they wanted to do um, they wanted to do uh, they wanted to do like arms so that's why I messed up now but that's okay now you're probably wondering if you are going to the gym now and you're going to exercise with them at 12 o'clock, why are you going? Why are you going now? And it's because I know that if I I had to go to Strictly because I didn't go to Strictly this morning, so I had to go to Strictly so I can get my visits in at Strictly. So I had to go to Strictly, and I got off work at eight, so I had to go to Strictly, and uh, so I had to go to work at Strictly. Go to work out at Strictly. So, Strictly closes at 10. If I was to drive all the way home, which is across town, if I was to drive all the way home and uh, I would get home about 10, 10 30, then I'd only get to rest for an hour and before I had to drive all the way back. So, uh, so it's better if I, so it's better if I, uh, just come, so it's better if I just come now, and, uh, it's better if I just come now, and, uh, and not worry about coming back, because if I go and come back, I won't come back. I'll be calling them saying, uh, I got lazy and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I got lazy and everything. So, I'm not going to be able to come work out with y'all because I got lazy. And then, what does that do? That ends up discouraging them from coming. And then, and then they'll be like, well, Birdie didn't come on this day. And then, I know we're going to be off Wednesday and Thursday. They are, because they don't come into town. And they live out of town. So, uh, so they'll be at seven. Well, Bertie didn't come on Tuesday. So, Friday, I'm not going. So, I don't want that to happen. So, guys, I'll talk to you later. Going to work out. I might talk to y'all. Bye, guys. See y'all later or tomorrow. Guys, I don't mind my belly. See where I have my scar. What I don't like is this right here. Isn't that nasty? See? All that loose skin. I can't stand it. <laughs> Just like my inner thighs. That's another thing I don't like. Is that right there? Yeah. See? Just jiggles. It's so sad. <laughs> now I'm ready to work out. Hey guys, I'm finishing my first treadmill and I got four minutes left and 25 seconds and then I'll take a picture of what the screen looks like. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, how are you?
still doing. Hey, it is 1.50 and we just now got done. So that means I've been at the gym. I went to Strictly and then I came to Champion and I got here about 10.30 and now it is 1.50 that I'm leaving. So I quit about 1.30. So that was 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. That's four hours I spent at the gym. I did the treadmill and then I did weights and then I did the treadmill again but not that much and then I did uh, the elliptical and then I helped them with weights and then I did uh, uh, 50 minutes on the on the treadmill again and then I stretched now Amy and them they did the elliptical and then they did they did the treadmill, the elliptical, weights, and then the treadmill. And they did weights, they did legs today, and they were awesome, and I was so proud of them. They did 20 reps, and I'm really proud of them. So way to go. Autumn brought her little sister, so she worked out with her little sister because she's used to working out, and so she worked out with them. And then me, Lynette, and Amy worked out together. It was so much fun. I had such a blast. I think Amy's getting ready to pass me. Yes, Amy passed me. But yeah, it was so much fun. I love working out with them. So it's day two of us working out together. Now they'll be taking a break tomorrow. I mean today, they'll be taking a break later today. And they'll take a break Thursday with me. But uh, they won't be exercising with me. But Amy said that she's gonna continue to walk you know, she's going to walk tomorrow and then uh, with her hubby and then Lynette said that she's going to have to walk because she's going to the movies and so she's going to eat uh, popcorn. So yeah. Now me, sorry my nose is running. Every time I work out, I all my body starts to want the function. My, uh, my nose starts running and I always have to pee and I always have a bowel movement. I know y'all that was TMI, but yeah. But it's just that my body decides it wants to work whenever um, it does that. So, don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got pizza in the car because I bought it before I went to work, went to Strictly, and uh, so I still have it in the car with the breadsticks. And uh, the car was cold enough, you know. It's like 20 something degrees out here, so it was cold enough for it to last. Now I'm just driving home, relaxing. I'm going to see if I can hit every green light. So I hit the green light earlier and then I hit this green light and so I'm going to see if I can hit every green light. Last night I did. Last night I drove through, I drove on this road and there's like several uh, stoplights and they're like one there's six stoplights on this road and uh and last night I went through I got to go I didn't have to step on my brake one time and today I just jinxed myself because I think I'm gonna have to step on my brake for this light am I yeah had to step on my brake I jinxed myself ain't that just sad but yeah so now that means I probably won't hit none of the other ones, but I can always check and see. But yeah, they said that the weather was supposed to get kind of bad, um, but uh, it don't look that bad. It's kind of raining. It's misting. It's not really raining. It's just like kind of like moisture, but it's not rain. It's just like a little bit just the stuff. So it's really a pretty night tonight. My brother left earlier than me at the gym. Just a few minutes. But I'm so proud. I work harder whenever, uh, I work harder when I have people that I'm working out with. I always think. Oh, a coyote. A coyote just ran across the road. If I knew how to switch it to the back and to the front, I would have showed y'all. He just went scampering through the road. And then he looked back at me. <laughs> like, ah, I got past you. Oh, no, 
joking. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. Now, when I did the treadmill earlier, when I did the hour that I do, um, uh, before I went lifting weights, uh, I was playing around and acting like I was jogging. <laughs> it was funny. I would love to be able to at least jog uh, um, half of it, like a mile. That would be so awesome if I could train myself to do that. I'll get there. I know I will. I'll get there. And everything. You know. I just. It's so much fun working out with people. My brother kind of hard on me. Because, uh, well, he's not really hard. Like, he does harder stuff. He does a lot of free weights. And I don't know how. I know how to keep my body adjusted. But I get lazy. And so I lose my form with it. And, uh. And I lose my form with it, and so, um, so I can't really concentrate on uh, free weights. So I like to use the machines. You know, maybe one of these days I'll start getting into free weights. Uh, Autumn was wanting uh, Lynette and them uh, to do uh, free weights, and I told them wait until y'all got better form before y'all try it, because you can hurt your body if you do stuff, you know, before you're ready. Um, you're supposed to work at your own pace, you know, that way you don't have to keep up with people, and then that way, too, when you feel comfortable enough, then, uh, you'll learn how to adjust your weight and go higher, you know, now, if you're working with somebody that's actually training you and you're paying them to train you, then they know how much that, that you can handle and stuff, then you can do it, but not, not if you're, not if you're, uh, I think I read that real life, but, 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 you know, like, like, Amy was like, Birdie, I think I might need a little bit more weight, and I said, okay, so then we did the little bit more weight, but I was telling her, you don't know how it's going to be until you do your reps, and then I said, just let this one be your starter, you know, it's your first leg day since you started back, do it on the minimum weight just to see how it's going to affect you tomorrow and then when you come back next week and we are doing leg day then you know okay I handled it with this weight let me see if I can handle it with that weight you know but that way you know that way you know how to do it and it doesn't matter how much weight you do as long as you're doing the form right you know like yeah you want to build up so that you can build your muscles up but first of all, you want to pay attention to how your body's supposed to actually react. Like, how far are you supposed to lift your leg? How far are you supposed to take it back? You know? And if you're... And if you try to lift too much, you're going to hurt yourself. And then you're not going to want to do it again. I learned that the hard way. Because I ended up tearing uh, one of my ligaments. You know? Yeah. And it was painful. It was painful. And uh, and then after that, now, I can feel it whenever I'm lifting and stuff. But, but I'm also a wimp when it comes to lifting. <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself. And I'm glad that I have Clint, my trainer, Clint. I'm glad I have him because uh, he'll push me. Like, if he thinks it was too easy, the next time he'll make a note. And then he'll adjust my weight accordingly. <laughs> He's awesome. But I think I talked y'all's ears off enough. I just was getting jabbery. And y'all rode me almost all the way home. Talk to y'all later, guys. And did y'all notice that I only made one red light? And then uh, I went through a yellow light. But I still went through it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, guys. Today is Friday the 31st and well right now it's Saturday because it's 229 but me Lynette and Amy all went to uh, all went to the gym and now we were there from 12 o'clock until now we did the treadmill okay they did the treadmill the elliptical the uh, rolling machine 
and um, the rolling machine, and uh, and then we did weights, and I did the treadmill, rolling machine, weights, and the bike, and they did the treadmill, elliptical, rolling machine, and weights, and then they did the elliptical again. We just did one set of 20 weights and everything, and then uh, and we did it was all upper, it was all arms and upper body, so your chest, your back, and stuff. So I am very proud of them. I, it's just awesome, and I love you guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, y'all see the light uh, reflected in my cross, but we did, I did an hour on the treadmill and at an incline of two and six, I mean two and four, and then I ran um, a minute every five minutes, so I ran a minute every five minutes, and, um, and then I, um, and then I, uh, did the weights, we did the weights, we did 20, um, reps twice, well, 20 reps, and then we did, um, and then we did the rolling machine for 10 minutes, and then we went back and did 10, um, reps, um, on all the weights for the legs, and then we did, uh, 20 minutes, on another cardio. I did the bike, they did the elliptical. And today we had a new person join us, Megan. And uh, she works with us. So now there's Lynette, Amy, me, Autumn, and now Megan that's doing this. Yay, we got a whole group. Thank you guys. Bye.